IBO1. This video is created on behalf of the ICIECH 2020. In this presentation, I'm going to show you how to record your PowerPoint presentation using MS365 Office package. But do not worry if you do not have MS365 Office package, still you can record your PowerPoint presentation using your existing uh, PowerPoint package. So first I'm going to show you how to record your PowerPoint presentation using the MS365. In here you can see I have put an example in here, uh, my abstract ID and my research title, abstract title, my affiliations, as well as my uh, email address. And as the second slide, my content of the presentation. Imagine that you have started your presentation uh, like that and already finished your presentation. And in here you can see, uh, in order to record your presentation, first you have to click on the uh, slideshow. You can see various type of buttons in here, home, insert, design, transitions, animations, and then you can see the slideshow button, slideshow tab in here. After clicking on the slideshow tab, this type of uh, sub categories of tabs will be appeared on your screen and then from these tabs you have to select record slideshow tab in after clicking in on this record slideshow tab uh, other type of two small tabs will be appeared like stating record from current slide and the second one is record from beginning in order to record your presentation from the very beginning slide you have to click on the record from beginning. After you click in on the record from beginning button, this type of screen will be appeared on your computer. It means that your presentation is ready to record. You can see there is a record button in here, stop button, replay button, clear button, setting buttons and here you can move your presentations to next slides using this button and some of the highlighting colors pen button and the eraser button is here and especially in here very special buttons which mean that you have to click on the microphone it should always uh, open or on and then camera button should be on and also your image button should be on i will explain you uh, some of these important buttons from this record button record button you can start your record and the stop button you can stop your recording after you click in on the record button automatically a pause button also will be appeared in here if you need to look your note after pausing or stopping your presentation you can look at your note and then restart your uh, recording after clicking on this record button and in any case if you are going to have some of the mistakes on your presentation while recording you can click on the clear button and then you can clear all the things and then after using microphone and the camera button if you are going to click on the camera button you can record all the live performances like this it means that the presentation will be uh, included your live presentation as well. So keep remember to on your camera button as well. And then after you ready to record after on your microphone and after keep on your camera button, you have to start record using the, this record button. And then after you are clicking on the record button, this type of timing screen will be appeared on your screen. It means that uh, it starts, starts to timing, three to one. It times from three to one, and then after one, it automatically starts to record. And then you have to uh, explain, start, you have to start explaining your slides. And then after recording all the slides, after finishing presentation recording, you have to click on the stop button and then by using this close tab, you can close your presentation from recording. You can close your recording using this close button. And then all the sliders will be recorded in your presentation. And now you have to do is to save your presentation. For do that, 
to do that you have to go to the file button and then you have to click on the export button this is a recording and presentation and your live performance so it will be recorded it will be saved as a video so you have to export it by clicking on clicking on this export button this type of window will be appeared and then you have to select a create a video button and then from this button you can select the quality of your video normally 720 hd will be enough and then you have to click on the use recorded timing and narration button in here after clicking on that you can create your video now now you have to select a place to save your video in here i have select d uh, volume d in my computer and now i'm going to click on the save button after clicking on the save button as this is a video it will take like 10 minutes to finish record finish saving your video file and if you do not have microsoft 365 office package you can use your existing office package to record your presentation i will show you in here how to record your presentation using your existing microsoft office package or microsoft powerpoint package in here as i shown you in the 365 office package 365 powerpoint package after you open in your presentation uh, this type of screen window will be appeared in here you have to select slideshow button you can see home insert design transition animation in here as well but you have to select on the slideshow button after clicking on the slideshow button it will ask whether to start from the beginning or whether to start from the current slide you can select start recording from beginning and next this type of small screen window will be appeared in here keep remember to tick on both boxes which mean slide and narration timings and narration and laser pointer click on both boxes and then click on the start recording after clicking on the start recording this type of uh, window will be appeared it means now your presentation is ready to record and here you will be you can see there is a pause button and it will turn into a, a play button as well you can click on the play button or this button and then you can start recording your presentation after recording each of the sliders of your presentation you can click on this stop button stop button and then this close button and then you have to save your recorded presentation in this powerpoint package you will be not able to record your live performances as in the 365 package but still you can record your voice in this powerpoint package and then you have to save your audio file and the presentation then you have to click on the file button click on the file button after clicking on the this file button this type of window will be appeared and after that you have to select on the export and then you have to select the create video button and then you have to click on the uh, select your quality as i told you previous 720 hd will be enough so click on the 720 hd quality and then you have to select here uh, use recorded timing and narrations and then you have to create click on the create video tab and then it will show you where to save your file you can select videos downloads documents or any other places that you need to save your presentation save this presentation as as uh, video as shown in here mp4 video and then click on the save button after click on the save button your presentation will automatically save in your uh, documents or the videos that you have selected and then after 10 or 15 minutes you can have your video then you can send your video to our conference email address 
icich.sjp.ac.lk icich at sjp.ac.lk email address. Thank you very much.